Hello, Vesley here, and welcome to my coding showcase. Here I'm just showing off timed hits in Epi Illuminated. So you can see right now it's supposed to do 11 damage twice, but if I press the A button at the right time, instead of doing 11 damage, it'll do 12 and the little star will fly up the screen. Uh, this is configurable, so you can change the amount of damage that it changes, and it also uh, can be set to work while defending. So they're supposed to do 6 damage, but because I pressed the button at the right time, they did 5. And yeah, so that's kind of how that works. You can make it twice as much damage or half as much damage to be received, whatever you feel like, really. And you can also do various key combos in it. Next I want to show, just in the FE8 self-randomizer, that for timed hits you can also have them do multiple buttons with a little button prompt. So here it tells me to press A uh, and to press B and to the right while defending against the attack. And you'll also notice post-battle some little hearts have uh, appeared above our units as they gain supports. So in the older games you would gain supports just by uh, standing beside the units uh, each turn, and but in the newer games, instead um, they have it often when you uh, battle beside someone or when you heal them or dance for them that uh, they gain support points that way. So this hack was made by uh, myself, Hypergamma Spaces, and Seven Seven Four Three. This quick hack I made is for when thieves steal something from you to make the item become droppable. Go ahead and skip over this. So you can see this thief comes over to me and they've stolen my Balneri. And you can see the droppable icon over them already. But yes, you can see that I can get it back if I kill them now. This hack just makes it so you can steal with a full inventory. So if I go ahead and fill up Erica's inventory, I've transformed her into a thief now. And I can still use the steal command that you would not normally be able to do. I think it just gets sent to the convoy. Here I have Effie Eternal Winter, where I just want to show off the extended weapon description boxes that I made possible. So in the vanilla game, a lot of weapons have no text under them, or they'll have just the one line of text. Uh, I made it so it's possible to extend to have up to an extra two lines, for a total of three lines, um, for the item description. So. Over here it says attack equals defense, you can't follow up, both sides can't counter, pick over target. So like, you can have more complex skill descriptions this way, giving you more room to play, play around with these skills. It also works for these skill boxes, so you see this one's fling, where you can pull an, an adjacent unit to the opposite side of the unit. Here we have my cannot die hack, where it just prevents units from dying, so they just dodge lethal attacks. So I'll go ahead and start this battle, and you can see that even though it's in the arena where normally eventually someone must win, right? But that's not the case here because they'll just keep dodging each other's attacks so it would be lethal. So you can see that missed. It's going to keep on missing. Eventually, the soldier soldier will try and strike back. It's a little bit funky in the arena where the battle is supposed to go on forever. It's not a soft lock because I can just press the B button and yield. So it should let me out here. Yeah, so I gave up. So you could use this on whatever you like, really. Uh, if you want an enemy that's immune to dying through conventional means. In the vanilla game, you can go to extras and see the so support conversation that you unlocked between characters. And that's all well and good, but it doesn't let you see every conversation that's happened. So I created my own thing. 
So here I am now in Fethi 2 Milkman Go Comedy, and under Extras, instead of the Support Viewer, there's Conversation History, which I made. So it can show not just supports, it can show whatever conversations or whatever events you wanted to. This is completely out of context right now, but that's okay. And then it just goes right back to the menu. Here I am in the FE8 self-randomizer, and I want to show the debugger that I made. You can access it by pressing B on a unit. You can also disable it for your public releases by turning on global flag EC. That way you can use it the rest of the time. You can see I've promoted into a death coil. I can also pick up units, move them around. Maybe I want them in the mountains. You can also level them up, so it sets you to 99 experience and then levels you up. And then I can also visit the arena, but I need some gold first. So let's add 10,000 gold, sure. Maybe I want to set the weather to snowy and all of that. Let's see, now I can go to the arena. Oh, but I've not set god mode right now, so I think I'm going to just run away. Otherwise, these enemies are going to defeat me. Okay, so I yield, I lost the gold, that's fine. If I set god mode on, then the battles are now much easier. By pressing B on the unit, it also refreshes them. So with God Mode on, you can see I have now 25 damage, always crit. So it's just whatever their max health is, is what your damage is set to. Then I can also edit my unit's stats if I like. I'll give you 20 strength. I can also change which unit you are or which class you are. Right now, because I'm in the self-randomizer, I have players reordered. If I change it, now it's back to Erica. So I could change this into Gilliam, whatever I want to do. Let's put her back into her original class. There we go. I can also give a specific item if I would like to, and also set the durability. So I want a heart seal right now, which will show off in a little while. I can change their state. So now we're in the shaky state. I'm going to turn that off because it's a bit obnoxious. I uh, showed god mode uh, AI I can turn off so that on enemy phase I can control the units. I can also edit the map. So maybe I'll add a bridge up here, a blank tile there, and then I can actually walk with my unit over here. I could also clear the chapter, and so it shows the usual scene and all that. I can save some time while you're debugging. I'm gonna skip over all this. For boot, you can make it boot to restart the chapter immediately or to resume the chapter immediately. So if I press suspend and then I reset the game, it goes right into the chapter. That's just to save some time. I can also edit your weapon experience. So maybe I want some Lance experience for some reason. I now have that. I can also gain some supports. So if I set Erica to max, you can see this is showing up now. And I can also load a bunch of units and it's going to put them just about everywhere. That can be helpful for debugging too. 
Lastly, I want to show heart seals that I made. They allow you to reclass a unit and have their stats adjusted accordingly. So I could set it by the character or by their class. Uh, and shout outs to Guilty Kappa for doing the default reclassing uh, between classes, like which classes should go into which other ones. And you can see my level has stayed the same and stats have adjusted. I also want to show that they can be used in the preparation screen. I did this by taking over the Junifruit item by default. That way it can be compatible with as many hacks as possible. It is possible to add it without taking over the Junifruit item, but you're on your own for <laughs> figuring that out. You have to use item effect revamp and all of that. Uh, but anyway, I think I gave one to Bronze as well. So this is using it in the preparation screen. And we can also see that the Archer in vanilla FE8 does not have particularly good base stats. I guess it beats Priest, but that's not really saying all that much. Um, so why don't I become a Mercenary? And we can see we've changed classes and we'll get some new stats. In fact, everything was a bonus. <laughs> and I can no longer use the iron bow that I had. Now I have sword experience. Anyway, this has been my coding showcase. That's Vesley signing off. Bye now.